This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I was going to be playing the Phantasm Spiral Paleo deck, just to give variety, because I played the Phantasm Spiral Dino deck previously on my channel a couple days back, but I actually ran out of time to do research for that deck, because I have no idea how it plays or anything like that, or like what good builds look like, I didn't have time to test for videos or anything like that, because ARG Atlanta is tomorrow, and I found out about it today. I did not know that it was a thing that was happening, um, and I'm going to be playing there, 100%. There's no reason for me not to play. Um, and so uh, I just decided to go and play with a Phantasm Spiral deck that I've already played with and hasn't, haven't played with in a couple of days, uh, and so that way I could do that. I'll still play with the Phantasm Spiral Paleo deck in the future, like in the next day or two after I, you know, I either scrub out of ARG Atlanta or I just you know, don't do well or whatever. Uh, my opponent is not doing proper plays, which is odd. Um, like, he tankied for Rat, and then he third-bladed the Rat out of his hand when he could have normal summoned Rat, and he could have made Digusto Emerald plus, um, plus Dryden't, but he's going for Hammer Kong plus Dryden't. I've got Dark Hole in hand, so... <laughs> um, and I've got a normal, and I've got a Rescue Rabbit, like, wow. I'm just gonna Dark Hole the board, because Hammer Kong doesn't prevent me from doing anything as far as, uh as far as um, uh, destruction. It just prevents targeting. But yeah, like I said, I, I was originally going to play the Patri the, uh, the, uh, the Phantasm Spiral Paleo deck as people voted on on my Patreon page uh, for me to play in order with like the video uh, releasing and stuff like that. What did he add to his hand? He added a whip tail? All right, well, you just ended turn with no back row? Wow, you... Ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, there were so many better things my opponent had access to as far as plays. Um, and he literally just did none of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna punish him, right? We're just gonna punish the shit out of him for it. Um, with Rescue Rabbit and using the, uh, the Phantasm Spiral card in my hand. We're just gonna punish my opponent. Okay, he's got Max C. Sure, I, I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna push tons and tons of damage down your throat, regardless of what you want me to do. Um, wow, okay. Well, so, we'll attack with this, we'll attack with this, it'll summon the, uh, the Phantasm Spiral Dragon out of my deck. Uh, we'll do a lot of damage with that. And then, um, and then we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to do some stuff. Now, my opponent has, uh, zoo cards, so what I'm going to make is I'm going to make the Dolka, because if I make Bahamut Shark and Toad... It's going to, uh, it's not going to be too good for me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate this Fossil Big so that I just thin my deck for one of these Megalo Smashers. I don't have to worry about Rescue Rabbit being live because I just used it. Um, so, mm. remember what I said about Phantasm Spiral? What I, th I think the deck is very good against bad zoo players. Uh, this is the kind of people that I was, uh, that I was addressing, essentially. Is that, like, there's no way that I can see him easily getting over this Dolka unless he has access to... Um, to like a, uh, a, oh, a card like that. That'll work. Okay. But that's still not that big of a problem. If I draw the field spell, and he gave me the small kaiju, um, if I draw the field spell, then it's just as good for me because I can just get grip. But actually, no. He's going to be able to make Dryden. Like, he's just playing like a buster, but that interrupted kaiju slumber got him there. That's the thing. Remember what I said. I said this in the previous video when I played against True Draco Zoo, um, is that when I played with this deck against True Draco Zoo, is that I think that this deck is very, very good against bad Zoo players. Uh, and this, my opponent had so much of a better turn one that he could have done. He could have searched a card and gotten a draw off Emerald instead of doing the Hammer Kong nonsense, when that's not necessarily what you have to do. Now, I'm going to lose to this man, strictly off the basis of, he's got a Dryden't, and if I draw the Field Spell, that's going to get Dryden'd. That's, that's, that's how that's going to work. It's a 3k Dryden't, so I can't really attack over it. Um, there's all these sort of things that are factors, you know, and now he's setting back row. Um, so, honestly, okay, Fossil Dig, wow. Wow, great deck. <laughs> Fantastic deck. Fantastic deck. I'm playing Vanilla Monsters now. Um, alright. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I still think this deck is garbage. Uh, like, that fact hasn't changed, but I think that it's like, 
I think that there are different ways you need to be going about it. The Phantasm Spiral Paleo deck might just be better. Um, like, better in total, in terms of, like, how it handles, but my opponent is just going to win this game strictly off the basis of he had interrupted Kaiju Slumber to answer a Dolka that he got off of Max C. Um, the Max C gave him a plus two because I summoned the Phantasm Spiral Dragon out of deck and then summoned the Dolka. So, I mean, it's... It's whatever in, at this point. I'm okay with losing these games because it doesn't make this deck look any better than it is, which I think this deck is very underestimated, but I don't think that it's very good in order to be esti like, pr like, ooh, let's just blow this deck up out of the water. Um, like, I don't think that this deck is decent at all. Like, Heat Wave and cards like that are really good, but otherwise I don't think this deck is super good. Because, like, my opponent is doing the most mundane bullshit zoo things that aren't even, like, good. He's playing Zoo very suboptimally. I know this because I've been playing Zoo and Zoo strategies in other decks since the cards came out. Like, <laughs> like there's literally no reason for him to have been playing the deck in this method because he got a draw off Thurblade and made a Hammer Kong and a Dryden when he could have gotten a search, made Dryden Emerald, and then depending on what other extender he had in his hand, like if he had Barrage or anything like that, he could have gone further and done the thing with the Thoroughblade anyway. Like, his play line was very sub-optimal, but it's fine because he's playing against this deck, and I didn't open the field spell, and I didn't get anything like Heat Wave or anything like that, and that is a problem. If I had drawn Heat Wave plus that Phantasm Spiral card plus Dark Hole, my opponent wouldn't be able to play. But that's the thing. That's Heat Wave doing that. That's not my deck. That's not the goodness of this deck shining. That's the goodness of Heat Wave shining. And the fact that my deck can just play vanilla monsters is what makes Heat Wave a little bit better than it already is because it stuns your opponent out for a turn and all that sort of nonsense. So there's all these things to think about. Uh, I don't think this Phantasm Spiral deck is particularly any good or any better than any of the other rogue options that we've got access to. Like I said, the highest placing this deck has ever had thus far is 15th place at a regional in Seattle where the person playing this deck got two buys and still only got 15th place out of eight rounds. He only played six rounds and he only got 15th place, meaning that he only won four out of those six matches that he had to play. So there's all those that go into, into things. That's the build that I'm playing. I'm still playing that build because I haven't tested around enough to figure out how to get this down to 40. And like I said, I was going to be playing the Paleo build, but I ran out of time because I had to start playtesting for ARG Atlanta because I literally found out that it's tomorrow or today at the time of you watching this video. And so I had to do that. So I'm going to play this deck, this Phantasm Spiral deck, for one more video that's going to go live today. Uh, and then there might be another video that goes up today. I'm not sure. It depends on what my time constraints are. I've really got things I've got to do. But other than that, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and all that sort of nonsense. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. If you want to get some insider access into how the channel runs and you want to help decide how things get uploaded, the reason that I uploaded the videos in the past couple of days in the order that I put them out in is because I put polls on my Patreon page asking out of three videos, out of three decks, what order would you like them to be released in to the people that are supporting me on Patreon? And they voted on which one they wanted to see first, which one they wanted to see second, which one they wanted to see third. Now, unfortunately... Phantom Spiral Paleo was the second option, but I didn't have time for that, so I just played a different Phantasm Spiral deck. I will do Phantasm Spiral Paleo as soon as I get some more free time in order to test the deck and figure out how it plays and all that sort of stuff. But other than that, one of the reward tiers, the $5 reward tier, is also accessed into my private Discord server if you want to get access into that to chat with me and a bunch of other people on a daily basis, get help with decks, get any sort of information you're looking for, all that sort of stuff is available to you. But even $1 is a fantastic way to show support and it unlocks the Patreon feed to you. So if you want to vote on videos in what order they go up and what videos get made and stuff like that, then that is something that you would be really interested in if you want to have some insider access into how the channel runs and all that. But other than that, if you like this video and want to support the content I've been doing and want to see more of it, give this video a big like, a big thumbs up, smash that like button, all that sort of nonsense. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, hit that little bell notification button to get notifications when I put uploads up so you don't miss a thing if you don't want to miss any of the content that I'm putting up. But other than that, long outro over. As always, guys, thanks for watching. As I've already said, thanks for your time as usual and take care i will see you in the next video hopefully i'm doing well by now in the rounds of arg atlanta take care